welcome Virgos. This is your um, birthday reading. So I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this uh, week is uh, from um, the uh, 31st of October until the 6th. 31st, 34th, 35th. So, um, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, there is a lot that is going on, Virgo. So, we have to be aware of this and what is happening and transpiring. So, Virgos, God, um, um, you are de dealing with, uh, um, I, and you're standing out for whatever is happening. I see you, Virgos, are not worried anymore because I see some sort of an issue with a corporation institution and you're standing strong against some sort of an injustice that a woman has done. And this woman is a fire sign woman. Whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, this woman has created some sort of a um, issues uh, that uh, is you're going to be have to be dealing with. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time, welcome. Um, I want to say to each and every person, please like and share these videos. Uh, Virgos, this is a full year. And if you notice, there is so much young people could be having some sort of a, um, you know, wake up call in this year, whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring. So be aware of this. Uh, so I see you're dealing with some sort of a um, devil energy that has to do with a Leo for some of you. Some of you are standing your ground um, against an Aries that is going to happen. A whole lot of communication between partners, um, partnerships and that sort of a thing. Um, love is not really one of the focus of this year for some of you. So be aware. I see your enemies is going to be down because uh, people are going to be um, um, things are going to be coming out and people are going to be finding out the truth, the energy of the devil, um, and secrecy, um, is going to be coming to an end. A corporation institution is going to be just seeing the truth about some false eye with a child and a woman. I don't see this woman is getting a new start. And then I see a cycle is going to be over. Information is going to be coming in. Some sort of an issues is going to be over. So Virgos. <laughs> uh, Virgos, let's go in and check out your reading. These cards are big. So we're looking at um, the center of your reading and a whole lot of you are dealing with some sort of an issue and I see you're standing your ground and you're going to be ending whatever is happening. Then I see no love is offered, no sign of new love. I see some of you are having issues with your mother. If your mother is an Aries, you are a Sagittarius. I see you are not, you could be open in order to work on a relationship. Some sort of a communication is going to be coming to you. So let's get right into reading. For the people who were born on the 31st of August, I see you're dealing with some um, a negative energy, some sort of an intervening between you and your relationship, some sort of a block to love in your life, some sort of a block where um, your love life is being blocked by negative forces. So be aware of this. Um, so um, learn to um, uh, remove these uh, um, issues and people by um, using candle work in order um, to remove these people and whatever they are creating in your life. Just um, use candle work. Um, so I see a whole lot of you, especially who is born on the 31st of August. Uh, there is just so many issues that is going to be coming up for love for you guys in this year. So be aware and align is as if you are being, um, uh, you know, balancing out with the energy of the devil. As we look at the people who were born on the 1st of September, oh my God. Again, you're dealing with some sort of a, um, secrecy. You're going to be finding out about your enemies, but yet still I see help is going to be coming in for you guys and this is going to be good. There is so much a sort of a false eye and deceptiveness that is going to be going on and you guys are going to be finding out uh, um, the truth about what has transpired. I see no start for a cancer in your life. I see some of you are going to be having some sort of a help. For the people who were born on the 2nd of September, it's a year where the tower comes in to remove people and situation out of your way. Some of you are trying to have a child 
and there's some sort of a difficulties in this year, I see that blockages is going to be lifted. Some of you are dealing with situation with kids, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see some sort of a tower moment is going to be coming down and protecting you from some sort of an issue and situation that you were not aware of. Then we're looking at uh, um, the love and the offer. A whole lot of offers will be coming in after this issue um, and this blockages is being removed. As we look at the people who were born in the 3rd of September, I see you're dealing with a corporation institution. It could be issues at work, whether you're doing, you're dealing with a woman that is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius, whoever this person is. I see you no longer is going to be worried about this person. I see their judge, um, their judge and jury, um, whatever karma they have done against you is going to be returning to them. So I see worries is going to be over. Whoever was worried about work or worried about some sort of issue in a corporation institution, your worries is going to be over because I see you're taking back your powers in this year. As we look at the people who were born on the fourth, um, we are seeing the energy of the sun and the number seven. Now there is so much significance uh, um, that is uh, happening. Love is here. Um, and some of you are going to be wanting to work on your relationship or your marriage. Is it here where you're going to be either meeting your soulmate or twin flame or working towards that or work on your relationship or marriage? And this is going to be good. Um, so you're going to be understanding where you are and how you are able to um, balance out your um, yourself in uh, whatever um, situations that is going on around you. Okay. So um, you have six, seven, uh, six and seven that is coming up for you guys. Then as we look at the six, um, yeah, five, on uh, the five, the fifth, uh, yeah, the fifth, um, it is the end of a cycle for some of you, um, a relationship with a cancer um, for some of you. Uh, or a relationship, there could be a cycle is ending with a relationship. Now, it could be a friendship, it could be a relationship, it could be a cycle is over between siblings, um, that sort of a thing, but it has to do with connecting with another person or it could be with your higher self. Some sort of a cycle is over and um, I see you guys are going to be understanding and just moving forward in order to clear your energies uh, so that um, you can be released from this relationship. So um, the cycle is going to be over. The energy of the world is about ending. Relationships could be ending and you one could be starting. Some of you could be finding out that you were in the wrong relationship for a very long time and you're going to be ending this and moving on. So we have the energy of the world, which is 21, 3, 2, um, that you guys are dealing with 21, 3, 2, use them as time and dates in order um, to accelerate this year. Then as we look at the energy of the, um, the 6th of September, I see a whole lot of you who are born the 6th of September. You're trying to find inner strength. There's a whole lot. It's, it's going to be um, a not a fast pace year it's going to be a slow space year the conflicts everything is over things is going on things are being positively aligning falling into places and you are finding inner strength to bring this sort of energy back and um this is um going to be good so um there is no question about this i really really find um this year to be a really progressive year if you ask the pyramid of this year is about dealing with corporation institution and i see some sort of a help is going to be offered um so um you guys because you're standing up for some sort of an injustice and equality and i see the energy of you um trying to work on a situation in order to heal a relationship or in order to heal someone um, that you're dealing with. So it could be a child, it could be siblings. Uh, um, you're ending a conflict in whatever is transpiring. I see no love is offered. There's a lot of uh, enemies that is coming out at you. No love is offered. I see um, 
some of you are trying to balance out some sort of an issue and situation that is coming up. Um, yep. And I see you're turning your back to an Aries, whether this Aries is at all moment is coming down on the Aries in this year. And I see no offer is coming up for this Aries. No new start is going to be coming up for this person. Whoever your enemies are, I see no new offer is coming up. Then I see some of you are trying to work and um, create some sort of a um, um, wealth for yourself. But there is some sort of a block, um, blockages. Um, it's as if business is going to be slowed down for some of you in this year. But I see a new sort of a love is um, moving towards you. And I see you're finding inner strength to end the conflicts that was around you. So this year is about uh, new starts and relationships, okay? There is a, all about new starts and relationship and standing your ground as the person who carries the energy of the fire, okay? All right, so we're going to be looking at the people who were born on the 31st. I see peace is going to be coming in your world and this is going to be really really wonderful peace with a relationship or a love affair or something that was going on but when it comes on to peace it could be in a peace you're finding for yourself but people who are born on the first of september i see new love is going to be coming in twin flame and soulmate is going to be coming in for you and this is going to be wonderful and positive um and um whoever was bitching against your relationship and that sort of a thing i see you're going to be leaving bad relationships and finding your twin flame and soulmates. People who were born on the second, I see some sort of a blockages. Um, you could be um, blocked um, from love or, um, you know, uh, fertility where you couldn't have a child. This block is going to be removed and this is going to be good. Then we look at the people who were born on the third. I see you are going to be... Uh, happily overcome some sort of issue um what you were dealing with a corporation institution and you have luck and you're going to be having luck over an Aries Leo Sagittarius woman who have done you some sort of an injustice and equality um people who were born on the 4th of September I see a friend is going to be coming in and helping you out whoever this friend is is um, going to be staying a true friend to you they're going to be coming in and helping you out with a situation. Then I see the people who have and is protected by your mother, the earth. The, um, um, I see some inner wisdom is going to be coming in either from your higher self or, or um, from someone you're connected to. Some sort of an inner wisdom is going to be coming in and this is going to be good. And for the people who were born on the 6th, I see you're wishing well. Um, this is a very, very positive card. Um, this wishing well is like, um, make your wishes this year. Your wishes will be granted. Have faith. And this is going to be good. So wonderful alignment of energy. Your overall energy is that success is going to be here for you guys. It doesn't really matter whatever hardship that you guys are going to be going through. Success is going to be here I do love you guys. Please like and share these videos. I am saying namaste until next time.